What's up guys, I'm explaining to you the lifting routine I used which helped me get to 99. Uh, it's actually a pretty pretty typical bodybuilding split, just push pull legs um, with just a couple different exercises here and there. And the biggest thing you'll see is that it's mostly surrounded by strength training, not a lot of hypertrophy training other than accessory lifts. Um, and it's, I normally work out six days, six to seven days a week. Uh, depending how I feel, I have a rest day sometimes. Um, so the pu the pu first day is a push day, um, and you can see I do bench press. And I know a lot of people hate on bench press, especially for pitchers, uh, and they say it can put your shoulders in a bad position. Um, but I honestly think it differs from per person to person. It all depends on how your shoulders are formed to be honest. Um, if it puts a lot of pressure on them and it hurts, I wouldn't do them. I would just switch to a regular uh, dumbbell bench press. Um, and then that's followed by dumbbell incline press, overhead press. And I honestly find that uh, standing barbell overhead press is one of the best shoulder exercises. Um, it's something that I don't see a lot of people do. Uh, and I think it's one of the best shoulder exercises. Um, and then, you know, just tricep and other shoulder exercises. And then my pull day, um, you can see there's a lot of emphasis on dumbbell or uh, on bicep exercises. And I think that's a very underrated uh, body part that a lot of pitchers kind of neglect. Because um, your bicep is one of the most important muscles that contributes to UCL health and keeping it from tearing. And I personally have found um, a lot of velo jumps when I trained biceps. Because typically when I was younger, I really didn't train biceps. I just focused mainly on legs. And to an extent, that did help. Um, but for some reason over the past, honestly, the past year or so, I really started doing a lot of bicep exercises. And I really found an increase in velocity doing them. And the back exercises are also super important. Um, I think the back is a super neglected part as well for pitchers. Um, you have lap pull downs, chin ups, bent over rows, stuff like that. And then the best day, I think, and the most important uh, day for pitchers and gaining velocity is leg day. So I do a whole bunch of compound lifts. Um, again, you can see almost all of these are strength based. There's five. Uh, five reps per per set. Um, I do squat, uh, reverse lunge, which I think is one of the best exercises to increase velo. And I do a single leg RDL, uh, regular RDL, hand cleans, which again is a very important explosive lift. I think it helps a lot. And then deadlift. Now I put hex bar because I've seen a lot of people hurt their back. Um, doing a uh, straight bar deadlift. Uh, I personally like straight bar better, but uh, if you don't have proper form with it, it can hurt your back. Uh, so I would just stick to hex bar if you can. And we'll get any split squats. Um, and then yeah, I just repeat those uh, for the next three days. And I take a rest day on Sunday. And then every day you see I have a uh, mobility and ab routine that I follow. Um, when I was younger, I really didn't focus too much on mobility and abs. I really just tried to put as much mass and get as much strength as I can. Um, and that helped me to a certain point, but once you reach the law of diminishing returns, you need to change some things up. And things that were working for you will decrease in the amount of uh, returns you get. And I found that uh, having mobility and doing abs gives you that slight increase and allows you to get to that the next level that just doing straight uh, strength training won't get you to. So I typically do abs every other day and do mobility every day. Um, I just follow a pretty basic mobility and ab routine. I just look up uh, videos on YouTube and just follow them. Um, if you have any questions about certain lifts or what you should do, uh, feel free to leave them in the comments.